Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We appreciate you for stopping in here today. Um, today, if you clicked on this, you know we're talking about the Tongue Jack box that we have here. Tongue Jack box that we have from Harbor Freight. We went and picked it up yesterday, about 149 bucks or so. I know it's metal. People like plastic, some like metal. I know there's probably water that's going to get in top of the front of it, but all we're going to use is put our straps and a couple other little things in the front of the box so we don't have them in the back of the truck at this current moment until we get our different trailer. Um, I got my drill bit, my Milwaukee, I got my Milwaukee drill. Also, I got grade A bolts here. Um, you don't really need that much, but hey, uh, I got those just because, you know, they're pretty cheap down at the farm store, so I just picked them up. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this, kind of show you what we're going to do, give you guys what's in the box, and open it on, put it on. Okay, we're going to open this up, kind of see what's in there. If you like me, I just use a drill bit or something else. Okay. Nice little box. Ah, oh, that's a nice little box in here. We're gonna pull this out. Doesn't seem too bad of metal here. Um, nice little shape design. Let's see how it fits on here if we set it here. here this right here if you look at it it says right here it is overall dimension is 14 and 1 4 by 33 and 3 4 by 16 wide so if you look at here at mine the issue I'm going to be having is it's going to hit that might be a problem if you have a regular tongue jack but this one has a little lift up and I really don't care much if it hits and scuffs up a little bit my goal is just to have this box in the front of it so I can put my ratchet straps and a couple other things, maybe the hitch stuff, just to get them out of the way. So I'm going to install it on there anyways, and if I really want to, I move my jack forward to this little right up here where they have, cut this one out and put a new one in, but I'm not even going to worry about it. They just try to put the jack on this one, they put another bracket and they put it back here when there's actual holes up here. but. It's not as strong, so um, I'm gonna roll with it anyways, guys. I'll give you guys show you guys how to install it real quick. Okay guys, so what I did is I put the box right where I needed to be, drilled out the hole through the inside, marked it on here, so I know where this is gonna be. So once I took the box off, I drilled through. Um, now that I drilled through, I'm gonna put the back box back on and bolt it down. Once I bolt it down, then I'll do the rest of them because it won't move on me.
next up, guys, the, I got the first one in there, and I got the second one in there, so I got it kind of lined up where I want it to be. I'm going to go through and take some paint. It doesn't matter what kind, just primer, paint, whatever you want to do. Paint it so it doesn't rust as quick. So if you got primer, if you want to go through the whole process, go for it. If not, just put a little bit of paint on there. I know that one. And that is it, guys. Right there. Um, drilled four holes through it. Uh, if you want to, I'd put some silicone, or if you got a rubber gasket, put it on the top side of it, keep the water out of it. Um, this box does have a little seal here. I'm assuming that seal's not going to really work well, just because driving on the road, but I don't really care. Okay, the box is pretty lightweight, guys. It should be pretty good for what I need. Um, I don't know how long the latch will work on it, so what I'll do if it doesn't, I'll just put a, a padlock that goes over top of it. I don't care if it locks or not. All I care about is that it keeps the stuff in there. And should be able to just close it down, locks in, little rattle, pull the lever up, good to go. As you can see from the last mud thing, is I'm just putting my toe straps in there to get them out of the way. All my straps strap everything down in there. Little ratchet strap, you never know what you need those for. Throw that in the bottom. Um, I don't know why I got that in there, but there's a big socket. Um, here's my two and five sixteenth hitch. Don't really need that. That's for the other trailer over there. That one I'm gonna get rid of here pretty quick because we're gonna get another enclosed one. But fuel. A little bit of liquid grease, throw that in there. But that's all I need it for, guys. Do this for that. So that's about it, guys. If you got any questions on that, ask it below. Um, you guys can look. It's a pretty small box, but it holds all my rat strap for two vehicles. I'll probably throw a stove trap in there, maybe a hitch and a few other things. But it'll just be there to be there, guys. Just because uh, this is what I got it in now. Actually, I'll put my tin sips in the back of there, too. It does have a shock on there, too. Don't know how long that'll last, but it's there. But, let's see. Huh, these are the front for my Jeeps. Better throw that in there, because I might need that if we're going off-roading. 
but this is what I had it in guys and I kept hitting it every time I back up I set it on the ground so I'm just gonna get rid of it and keep everything in there